Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I keep playing this game, it's uh, a bit of a, a bit of a behind the scenes look, but uh, today for me it's April the 11th, which means that I have way too much of this recorded already for when I'm going to release this, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still playing this against my better judgement and today we're going to head into Senpao Temple itself. But first, I'm gonna give that white flower to that uh, big baby at the beginning of this area, so let's head back. And while we're here, I'm also wondering if this poster has anything else to say. Doesn't seem like it. Can just hug the wall, but that's pretty much it. So, if I recall correctly, he was over here on the right. Yeah, he's still crying. So let's make him happy. Let's make this man happy. <laughs> <laughs> they left me all alone, and I have to find the pure white flower. Where could it be? He would have never reached that, by the way, so we could give him the red and white pinwheel, but we also have the white pinwheel, which was actually pretty hard to find, because we needed to fall down that entire cliff and just grab onto the ledge there, if you recall. But uh, let's give him the white pinwheel. Is this the pure white flower? Ah, that's... Oh, I remember now, everyone. They are children of the rejuvenating waters. And I remember I tried to find a pure white pinwheel. A pinwheel for that child. Hey, can I ask a favor? What? Could you spirit me away? I don't follow. I know about you. You're a shinobi, right? Those monks say. Shinobi can spirit people away. Make them disappear as if they were never there. Why do you want that? Well, I'm sure that everyone will be wherever I disappear to. And then I'll get to see them. I'm in charge of looking after the children, after all. Now you can do that, right? Uh, no, no, I, I can't. Shit. Okay, that's another part. What did he? I thought he was he was talking about me killing him. Spirit it away. I cannot. I see. If you change your mind, please tell me. Oh, so wherever the children are gone to, he wants to go as well. But for now, we don't know what that exactly means. So let's get back up and get back to that sculptor's idol. So, we're back here, and as we recall, we can get through the cliffs over there and get across. There we go, we can just reach the roof, okay. Now we get seen already. There we go. And we can run around here to actually reach that cliff safely, I think. There we go. There we go. Doesn't seem to be... Well, there's somebody over there. And he's one of those guys with a wooden... Um, oh, no, no, no. Don't get poisoned. Don't get poisoned. I'm deflecting this, but... There we go. Through the hat. And we have him, but we did get damaged quite a bit there. So let's just take advantage of this then and check around a bit. So we're still on the rooftops. And then this is probably the higher area with the, the explosive sky, right? Yeah, so we can drop down on that and just get through to the other side. It's a bit of a weird in-between area, because I think we don't even need to check this out, because there's another cliff up here. There we go. The tree, and then... There's that monk leaving. Now we can get on top of the roof immediately and just go for it. So we can kill the explosives guy. Just in one go, and I don't know where the other... Oh, there he is. Oh, and I dropped off the staircase. There we go. 
It's a bit weird fighting on the stairs like this, but there we go. And now, there were those two sword-wielding guys that I'm really, really afraid of fighting. Okay. Still haven't been able to pull off one of those wall-hugging uh, attacks, but just a simple monk should be fine. Now, if I... Is he looking at me or not? It's really hard to see with those guys. And I feel like he is. But I also feel like there's two of them. Okay, so there's a Sculptor's Idol on the other side. Great. Great, that's just great. Um, can I get on top of the roof? Don't seem to be able to. I can get to this side. So yeah, they're definitely looking outwards. But if I trigger one, I'm going to trigger the other as well. Oh, yeah, and there's another one over there. Oh. So this is going to be annoying. Oh. Did I just die or not? Oh, God. Oh, God, that was not the plan. That was not the plan. Not fair. Oh, no, no. So I'm not going to make this. Ah! So let's just try and fight one over here on the stairs. Come on, get over here, buddy. No, why did the other guys see me? Yeah, they noticed. Mm. Ah, and I died. Okay. So forget about the sweep every single time. And there we go, that's one. Oh, and I died again, but still have one extra resurrection. For fuck's sake, these guys are hard, man. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All the way through his posture. Okay, I feel like there needs to be a simpler way of dealing with these guys. Because I'm not seeing it at the moment. But, a little bit of a pallet. And now I need to kill off that final guy. Because there's three of them. Because of course there are. Ah, and it's a guy that's looking away. That should be fine, I guess. Unless he, of course, turns around in a second. Which I need to be sneaky for. Come on, buddy. Save me the trouble. Save me the trouble. Don't turn around now. Gotcha, baby. There we go. Okay. Bulging coin purse. Ooh. Hefty enough to bring something resembling a grin to a wolf's face. Okay, then. That's, that's just a little bit weird. So does that mean these guys don't respawn? Ooh. There's a back entrance as well. But there was... There was a sculptor's idol on the other side of this wall. So might as well open this up. Yes. Yes, look at that. Look at that. We can open this up. There's somebody here. Is this... Sampo himself? Ooh, there's a lot of enemies nearby for this to be. Let's just, let's just rest. Let's just start with that and rest. Although, of course, I could also just do this. Because I don't want the enemies outside to respawn. So I'm just going to check outside first. Although this seems to be the natural way forward, if I'm not mistaken. So what's this all about? You can enter the building through here as well. And that's just, yeah, that's the same side. Okay. And I think it's pretty safe to just rest. Because we could reach that room without having to deal with those three 
Warriors on the outside again. Oh, he heard me. He heard me. He's ringing a bell of some sort. But I'm gonna rest, so that's gonna reset everything. So never mind. Rests. And I think I have two skill points, right? Yeah. So let's rest first. Where everything turns black. Now we can acquire skills, but I think I need a lot more skill points for what I want, yeah. I think I want to go for the Breath of Life Light next. So then we can go with Midair Combat Arts after that and to Shadow Rush further along. Although these Combat Arts are also really cool. Just the fact that we can, uh, we can just use everything. We can combine our prosthetics with normal attacks. That would be nice as well. But I feel like this one is going to be more interesting first. Because in, in the at the end of the previous episode, and I didn't show that in the episode itself, but I bought the extra uh, spirit emblems that I can carry. It just amounts to just one extra spirit emblem I can carry, as you can see. I can have 16 now. Uh, so yeah, two skill points is enough for now. But I feel, yeah, we can talk to this guy. And he's, yeah, looking at a really, really big statue with like an army in front of it. Children of the rejuvenating waters, forgive me. This child. guy looks horrifying. She's the only one left. She must be lonely, trapped in that room by herself. She must be so lonely. <clears throat> You there? Who are you? What business do you have with Sempo Temple? Okay, let's ask about that special holy person. I'm told that a special holy person lives here. Remarkably holy. That would be the child, I imagine. She's not here anymore. It's my fault. The child. She's confined within the inner sanctum. It's impossible to see her now. I see. Uh, are you a shinobi? Mm. Mm. If that's the case, then actually I have a favor to ask of you. The child wanted to know the reason for her fate. If you do see her by some chance, please give her this. It's the least I can do for my own atonement. The holy chapter infested, a passage describing a journey to enlightenment. For an age I have been blessed by the worm. To be undying is to walk the internal path, eternal path to enlightenment. Thus I must become enlightened to understand why I cannot die. It is said the holy dragon's origins were in the west. So I wonder how did the worm come to bestowed upon come to be this bestowed upon me? Alright. So we knew that the Sampao monks tried to become immortal. And it appears like they achieved that through these worms. So we've seen a few of these guys already, but this seems to be Yeah. The corrupted guy himself, the leader of these monks. And he's clearly not a boss, but he's talking about another divine child, because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Kuro is a boy, because we call him Lord all the time. And there's actually a few items hidden around here, because there's items up there as well. What happens if we go up? So we can get on top of the rafters, and we can actually grapple. Oh no, that's not a grapple point, that's just a get item point. So let's pick that up. Another Dragon's Blood Droplet. So we can use that to heal Dragon Rod if we have any. Um, what else is there? Because we can actually get behind these statues. More lump of fat wax. We not we, we, we just lack the resources to even check those things. And there's a lot of these immortal, but those guys must be hostile, I think. Once I get close. Let's get back on top of the rafters. There's a few more items I want to get. That is creepy that you can go in between these statues. There we go. Another bundle Jesus statue. 
We haven't used that, but it's used to just restore our power. Uh, our resurrective power, if you want to. If you just want to have a quick check there. But these guys... I think we're fine as long as we don't get close. So this guy's starting to notice me. I think if I start to kill these cicadas, I'm going to get spotted as well. So just stay away. Don't need to fight these guys if I don't need to fight them, right? So it looks like there's an upper level to this place as well, somehow. But... We've seen the other side of that room. Oh, don't hit the pots. And there's gonna be another centipede. Yeah, the, the guys outside have respawned because I can hear them. There we go. So I think I'm gonna try and just get the item because these guys are immortal anyway. So black gunpowder. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was not nice. But I'm just gonna leave them there because I feel like they're pretty static. They don't move around that much. So just moving forward. And yeah, we can get back outside over here as we thought. And get inside of this cave building. Because this doesn't look right. I'm just going to get the healing gourd back. Oh, more monks. You know what, I might as well just whack him in the face. There we go. And get him. Straight in the neck. Love the death animations in this game as well, by the way. But we still don't know if the sugar, the, the candies they're making are actually linked to... Okay. To their abducting people or not. There we go. I can do a jumping attack on these guys for some reason. There we go. And this feels like we're heading underground again. And there's multiple of these guys. There we go. As long as I can do that, I'm fine. You need to be careful not to get burned. There we go. Okay, he was screaming a lot, but... So this still seems to be an extension of the temple because of the statues. And there's a hole in the f ground over here as well that I can probably, yeah. If I crouch, I can go through here. Okay. Seems to be fine. Killed that wolverine with no, re no problem. Just gonna... Oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. This reminds me of that area with the headless guy. Ooh, this is getting really cramped. And I don't like cramped. Another Mibu balloon. Are these the spirit waters? What the hell is going on here? I haven't checked now the other side, of course, because... I thought this was not going to be the way forward. There we go. Ah, we can just jump kick these guys whenever we want. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Over the fire, into his face. And... Okay. This does seem to end here, although we can go up. Okay. Hello? These guys seem to be dead dead. Because there's like still worms on them, but the worms aren't moving. What the hell is this? Give me at least a bit of information, please. Because I'm trying to figure out what's going on here, but okay, where are we now? Oh, oh, this is that big tower. Yeah, okay. Okay, fair enough. So that's the temple. We just went through through the mountain to go over here. Now, this would be the ideal place for them to add a boss, of course, since we're pretty much at the end of this area then. 
But if there is a boss... Oh, don't stand the poison. Don't stand the poison. We can slingshot back over there. If we want to. But of course, why would we want to? We want to check this tower, right? It seems a bit too small to actually house a boss fight. For some reason. So let's just open this up. And it is an item. Alongside of what seems to be a very corrupted Buddha statue. Senpo Esoteric Texts. A book of secrets that grounds the ability to learn Senpo style techniques or skills. Those are the Senpo of Senpu. Because I think they, they called it Senpu, right? Like shitting. Senpu Temple mastered martial arts in the pursuit of virtue. They considered strong fists and strict discipline essential against Buddha's enemies. However, Senpu Temple was seized by an obsession for the undying, which corrupted their teachings and style. Okay, great. So another skill book. This is a big tower. Can't I go... Can't I go up? No. That's apparently it. Okay, now I understand why we can grapple back. But anything else down here doesn't seem like it. So the monks of Sampu Temple first started learning martial arts techniques to defend themselves from the enemies of Buddha. And then decided, well, you know what, we're also making this delicious sugar. Why not start to use that as a means of luring people over here and, I don't know. K killing them or maybe experimenting on them to achieve their undeath. That is interesting. But there was another path in the cave that we didn't actually follow. So the esoteric text is nice and all. <laughs> Look at this guy. I'm sorry. Uh, I, your legs are in the floor and yeah, your neck doesn't look so healthy anymore. So I don't actually need to crouch. I'm just going to run through. So we went over there, but there's also this way. Or is that just coming together on the same... Oh, no. This isn't good. Oh, this is not good. A dark hole. Might as well drop down. Took a bit of damage, so let's heal up. Don't know where I am now. Although it seems... Oh no! That's where I killed that one... Yeah, okay. We just got onto the same track. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just gonna loop back up. And I'm thinking, but I don't really know... What else there is to this area then. I feel like we've done everything. Aside from maybe the path that the old woman was guiding us towards. Across the tree, if you recall. So let's go there. And see if there's anything of value over there. Is there this temple? It's no longer a place where decent people should be. <laughs> oh, that smell. So you're the one who works for the divine heir of the dragons. Blood. There's more dialogue with the, the temple master. Divine heir. Truly exalted, but exalted or not, man is still man. Oh, I'm so foolish that I didn't understand that myself. Don't. Don't leave your divine heir on his own. Leave. It's too late to regret once you've already lost them. Okay. So this guy... Seems like he's regretting what he's done. Seems like he regrets the horrors he's been going through, but still. Bit of a weird chap, isn't he? Is there this okay, so it's not no longer a place where men should be. And they regret what they've done to themselves, but... Doesn't seem like there's anything more than that. So there's three of them over here as well. And another gate. Ah... It's gonna open up... Ah, it does not open from this side. Wait, what? I must have passed through by that gate, right? So that's the end of the staircase, or not? Yes, it is. Oh, and I could open that up from that side. Well, 
Never mind. Uh, I'm gonna go back to that tree and see if we can't do anything from over there. And while we're here, might as well check out those new skills. The temple arts. Praying strikes. Using successive elbow and arm strikes, unleash a flurry of quick attacks that inflict damage while preventing counterattack. The strikes are both a martial art and a form of prayer. Without strength, one cannot defeat the enemies of Buddha. I'm gonna save my skill points as I said before. But it uh, seems like there's more passive effects in here as well that might be useful. Okay, still trying to fight these guys. But uh, they're hard. Let's go down. Don't really need to fight these guys, so might as well just... Okay, never mind, shoot guy. Let's just let's just get rid of these, eh? The archer is probably the only guy that can really annoy me. And this guy might as well take him out as well. I already did my uh, resurrection now, so might as well just move away. Move away from all of this. There we go, on top of the tree, on top of the tree, and over here. So that is the area that the old woman indicated us from over there somehow. But I don't see us... So I can't move further back so it doesn't allow me to drop off. What does that mean? So the... The entrance was... Over there somehow but I can't reach that can I? It's way too far away from me. Unless, of course, we get that kite over here. But we don't know. So we know we can push that further. And that kite might be a grappling point then in between the tree and the other branch. So, but in order for us to do that, I need to get past these guys again. So as I said before, we still have a lot of unanswered questions about what is going on here. We still don't know why they make candy. We still don't know why they abduct people. Uh, although we do know by now why they, uh, what their immortality lies in. So let's just kill this guy. So these were good people probably once. But because of their obsession with immortality, they kind of lost that. But now, how do I get this thing to actually stick? How do I get this thing to actually stick? There's no prompt for me to... So I can pull it back. But then I somehow need to block this. So that's perfect. Look, now it's in between the tree and the other tree over there. So I could probably, by swing slingshotting from the tree to the kite, I can go over there. But for some reason, I can't do anything but let go. Which is not what I want to do. Because now it's turning back. Hmm. What if I loaded axe this thing? Because that's the cave. That's definitely the cave. And there's another piece of snakeskin on the cave. But how do I... I let go. And then I... No, that doesn't do a single thing. And that old woman. That old woman was sitting over there somewhere, I think. But I don't think I'm going to get more information out of her than just that. So, the old woman. I'm gathering my clues here. Fruits of the serpent, yes. There are two kinds. One is fresh. The other is dried. It's over there. The fresh one is over there. Over the cliff. Through the hole. That's where you'll find it. Fresh? What are you talking about? Hmm? Something troubling you? Rice for me, that's the way. <laughs> rice, I say. If something troubles your mind, bless me with rice anytime. 
Bless me with rice anytime. That sounds like sake, right? Sake is made from rice. I feel like I'm stuck here. I don't see how I can... This is going to sound wrong, but please her. And I don't see how I can reach that without just committing suicide. Um, and this is pretty much where the kite would be. And I don't know how to stop the kite from moving. I don't have... I don't think I have a tool at my disposal that I can use to stop the kites. And if I just jump off here, might as well try that. This is not gonna do... no, no. Just gonna die and magically reappear next to this old woman, precariously on the edge. So I'm gonna put a pin in that. So what I want to try and do now is actually kill the spear guy that I left alive in the Ashina Reservoir. So if I do that, I should be able to... How, do, how am I going to get to the bonfire? Uh, the, the bonfire. The idol. Probably over here again, so never mind. Moving forward. So might as well do a few minor things and think I'm going to go to the uh, the memorial mob first. So in the abandoned dungeon entrance there was one. So the reason for doing the spear guy now is uh, double. So I just got my third skill point so I don't lose any progress towards the next skill point. And I'm going to convert all my money into something useful. So I could buy another dragon's blood droplet. I know that's there. But mainly I think I bought the most important things here. So for now, I'm just going to buy coin purses to offset me losing anything. So there we go. That's most of our money gone. Might as well buy the dragon, dragon's blood droplet and maybe contact medicine. I have no in storage and he has five of these. Might as well buy them as well. There we go. So that's pretty much all my money gone. The only thing I didn't buy is a mask fragment, but we don't really know who we can give that mask to. Aside from an old dancer. We don't I don't think we saw a dancer already, so. May the departed rest in peace. Indeed. So thank you, man. Next stop is gonna be uh, the dilapidated temple. I know should have probably done that first, but just wanna see if there is anything of use that I can do there before we move on. So yeah, we haven't found any iron yet, so uh, I still can't upgrade these. So I feel like I'm doing Senpu Temple a bit too soon. Because I feel like I'm lacking some information about the kites, and I feel like I haven't really faced a boss there either. And I'm not finding any iron anymore, which is also interesting. So same as before, we're gonna follow the same route towards the spear guy. He's right up there, if you recall where we started the game. So see you in a second. So we did get a few upgrades since the last time we fought this guy, but still, I am shitting my pants right now just because I know how fierce this guy is. So let's just go with that. And then just whack him again. Oh God. And he's kicked me inside the building. And I'm dead. So you can still one-shot me, basically. No, 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 no. Okay, but I think I can do this. I think I can do this. Just need to focus a bit more. So... The seven Ashina Spears. There we go. Got the uh, Mikiri counter off there. Oh, how the hell did he hit me there? There we go. No, 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 don't get the fat guy involved. That would be bad. Feels like this actually works. There we 
go. Ow, he killed me. Okay. There we go. Ah, the Mickey counter was perfect, but yeah. I don't know how I follow up on that. Ah, there we go. Our first hit of Dragon Rot again. So I don't know how I follow up with that Mikiri counter. Because I've hit him twice with it. And it doesn't seem like I can actually do something after that. He just kicks me off and that's that. So I don't know how to actually follow up. But we'll see. We'll see. We're getting his fight down a bit. Because I still had health left. I just got off guard with that uh, very big swipe that I got hit with. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, he can do that as well. Never mind, that was bullshit. Oh, come on. The timing on that Mikiri counter is ridiculous sometimes. Get over here, you dickhead. There we go. And he kicks me anyway, and that does so much damage. That is ridiculous. Block that. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Come on, buddy. Go down. Finally. Prayer beat. Thank you. Fuck off. So that was a good run. Didn't even need uh, to resurrect. And I got a few Mikiri counters off. But for some reason, yeah, he can just counter attack that so you need to dodge out of the way once you get control again which is right before he hits you and there we have our fifth uh, our fifth scrap iron we needed for one of the upgrades so that's good as well and then we have a memory we have a bit of a, a vision of kuro over here so let's touch this Wolf, that sounded really gross once, do what must be done but i have yet to discover what it is that i must do i don't understand why was I granted this power? Yeah, good question. Why was he granted this power? Where does he come from, actually? Um, all questions, all good questions. But with that, I'm not going to take a little break just yet because I want to just check. I was going to say that, but I'm just going to check if I can't get back. Because I want to just use my, uh, my stuff now. There we go. Just run around, run around, run around, run around, run around. Hello. There we go. Just use him as a bit of a in-between point. Commune rest. There we go. Reset everything. Just because before I got interrupted, apparently. So let's get back to the temple. First things first, let's use our four prayer beads to upgrade our physical attributes. Yes. Ta-da! Third prayer necklace. The bull was a fiery rampaging beast and nothing more. In the last great war, the corpses of Ashina samurai piled high. Something had to be done. So that's talking about the bull for some reason. Interesting. Kind of like it feels that the game supposes that you just killed the bull, but we did that a while back. Uh, so let's get inside and upgrade a few of our prosthetics. So sort of way. And then let's have a little chat with the sculptor. You need some. Yes, we do. Let's have you take a look at my prosthetic and then we can upgrade. Oh, we lack the money. Just gonna have to go into the menu and pop two of my coin purses. 
because uh, I can only buy one upgrade here and I feel like the spear is going to be the more interesting one. So, loaded spear trust type, unleash far-reaching trust attacks, lighter enemies struck by the spear may be dragged towards the wielder. Can also tear poorly fitting armor, blah blah blah. Blah blah, we already knew that. Store energy in the spring mechanism and use its momentum for successive and relentless trust attacks. Sounds awesome. So we need to rush, ready your spear and rush straight ahead. Okay, let's buy that. Ding ding ding. Tier 4 information is now unlocked, so yeah, we can see other stuff now. Aha, and there we have the Phantom Kunai. So we need the Loaded Axe upgrade for that as well, and then probably something else. So it creates a special sound when thrown, which causes Phantom Butterflies to follow the path of the Kunai. The Phantom Butterflies chase after enemies and inflict damage even when guarded. So that's incredibly powerful, but we need a lot of extra iron for that as well. So first things first, the Gouging Top, an enhanced shuriken that pierces enemies with its sharp blades. These piercing blades retain momentum after landing and will damage an enemy's vitality and posture, even if guarded. Taking a moment to further bend the spring and build rotational energy will cause the blade to rotate after landing. So yeah, that sounds like a perfect upgrade to that. And now we also have Centro. The amount of Centron varies depending on how much is in your possession. The Dirt port, The Dirt Portro Dust. The Dirt Portro Dust. Okay, the poor throw a little money. The rich throw a lot of money. And the filthy rich throw enough money to make all of the rest cry. So that's apparently an ability we need to unlock. Throwing money. Fair enough. Fair enough. So while it lacks a shuriken's range, it inflicts far more damage. As the coins hit multiple times, the amount of coins thrown increases depending on how much money one possesses. Being rich makes the blast incredibly strong, but an empty purse will shoot nothing but dust. Okay then, that, that is interesting. Uh, but yeah, the gouging top is definitely something we'll equip. Another so let's equip that right now, instead of the normal spinning shuriken, the gouging top. That looks amazing. It also looks like the shurikens. No, it's just an extra effect on top of the shurikens. And let's uh, equip the loaded spear trust as well. And the flame vent is still a good basic uh, equipment type there. And if I swap, I'm just going to swap the ceramics shard with my healing gourd. So we actually have the ceramic, uh, the healing gourd uh, in our first slot. Because I just learned from the loading screen actually that if you, you're swapping between items and hold the uh, left or right button, you actually swap back to the healing gourd as immediately if it's equipped in your first slot. So there we go. We're going to end this episode right here again at the dilapidated temple. So thank you guys enormously for watching and hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Eye Twice. Goodbye.